Hey, let me show you the best features of the Poco X6. So in this smartphone, we can actually find a lot of very useful options. And let me show you the first one, my favorite actually, the multitasking feature. So in this smartphone, we can actually use four apps at the same time. And take a look. Now, when I'm gonna click on the background apps and select one of the application, I can split the screen. That's like very obvious and very common feature. But now I'm also able to add apps into the floating mode. So I'm going to do this, for example, with the settings. Okay. And the settings is actually not available. So let's get rid of this one and we can add calculator, for example. There we go. As you can see right now, we are using free apps, but we can also add another one. Uh, for example, let me do this. Let's try if the clock actually supported it. So now let's click and hold on the clock. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And we can actually get these apps on the screen. So take a look. We've got four apps at the same time on our Poco X6. From here, we've got split screen. And here, we've got our floating apps. Now, if you want to quickly move them apps into the uh, minimize them, you can move them to the right side, for example. So, it's the, so that's the first uh, very useful function. The another one will be about hiding icons. So if you want to hide your apps, there's like also a few methods how we can do this. But my favorite is in the app drawer, we'll have to click on the settings icon and be sure that you turn on hide app icons. Now, when you make this gesture to swipe two times to the right side quickly, you can open this hidden menu. When you open it, you can actually add apps and remove them from your phone and it will be only visible right here. So take a look. I'm going to hide clock. And now as you can see, the clock is not visible. So I can open it by accessing this hidden menu. There we go. Next, let's go back from this one. And now we'll have to actually go into the settings. And from here, we can go into the connection and the sharing. No, we have to actually go into the into the Wi-Fi and we can actually get the network acceleration. So if you are connected to the Wi-Fi and when you input your SIM cards, you can actually combine both connection and use this switcher and change the speed boost mode to the full. And now we are going to combine the Wi-Fi and the mobile data internet to boost our connection speed. So that's useful when your internet is not working uh, as fast as you want. Also in this smartphone, uh, we can go into the always on display and the lock screen. And we've got a very useful option to quickly double tap or to turn off the screen, to wake or turn off the screen when the device is locked. So take a look. Now, when, I when I'm gonna lock my phone and double tap on the display, I can um, turn on the screen or turn off the screen. I really like it. And let's move forward. Let me show you other options. When we enter for the home screen, we can actually find function to double tap to lock the screen. So now you don't have to click on the on this power button. You can just double tap right here and you will lock your phone. There we go. Let's access the home screen settings one more time because we can find here some other options. Uh, we can, for example, speed up our device by enable fast animation. So right now everything will be close and open faster. Next, uh, when we are here, uh, we'll actually go back from this one and now we'll have to navigate into the apps. So uh, from here, we can actually clone apps on the smartphone. So now when you go open for the dual apps, uh, we can, for example, clone our camera. Now, when you open your app drawer, you will actually find the two camera applications and you can use the separate accounts for each application. Next, when you are right here, we can also set password on our applications. So take a look. When you previously uh, create your uh, lock, uh, from here, you can set password on any application. And now if I try to open the YouTube, I will have to input the password that I set up previously. There we go. So as you can see in this device, we can actually find a lot of options to uh, keep our privacy by, 
find hidden menu with the app icons or setting password for any application. But let's move forward. Let me show you other options. When you go into the battery options and when you click, uh, when you click on the additional features, uh, you can actually enable the fast charging when you connect it to the supplied charger. So this uh, default charger that you actually have in your box and you will get actually 67 watt charging. Next, uh, I just forgot about one, uh, one thing. Uh, when we are in the battery, we can also enable the performance mode. So this mode will actually will speed up our device. So that's useful when you are, when you feel that something is wrong with your phone. When you go into the additional settings, we can find a lot of other useful options. For example, in this smartphone, we can uh, use the memory extension. And as you can see, we can create an additional RAM by occupying the internal storage. So we can even add the 12 additional gigs of the RAM. And to confirm, you will have to just reboot your phone. So it means that your phone will be turned off and turn it on back. Next, in this smartphone, uh, we can also measure the heart rate. So when you put your finger on the fingerprint scanner and hold it for 15 seconds, you will be actual, actually able to check your beat rate, the, the beat rate of your heart rate, of your heart per minute. There we go. And as you can see, in my case, it is around 81. From here, we can find our result. That's the date and the time. Next on this uh, smartphone, uh, we can also find other very useful options. Uh, when you go, for example, into the accessibility and open a uh, division, we can, for example, enable the magnification. So now when you enable the magnification shortcut, it's actually just right here. And when you click on advance, right now we can double tap to zoom your screen and you can pinch to zoom in or zoom out. When you click on it one more time, you will actually turn it off. There we go. Now let's go back from this one. And I also want to show you uh, where it will be actually located in the display. And then you can actually force the 120 Hertz refresh rate. So when you go for the refresh rate, as you can see, normally is set as the default, but if you want to always get the highest resolution, you will have to get the custom and switch from the 60 to 120 Hertz. Okay, let's go back from this one. And I'm also searching for the, yeah, it will be actually in the connection as sharing. When you open cast and go into the demos, you can actually enable the game turbo. So when you are playing games, you will speed up your, your smartphone. Now when you open it, you can click on the settings icon and from here as you can see you can actually enable the game turbo so yeah and the last option that i want to show you is actually in the phone dialer so click right here on the phone dialer tap on this three dots in the right upper corner then go to the settings and now you can actually quickly uh, block uh, all spam and the robot calls by clicking on the caller id and the spam and now you will have to enable this switcher to filter the spam calls. And that's all, that's my favorite features of the POCO X6. If you find this video helpful, just remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and see you in the next one.